Hello viewers, this is IT system and been a complete troubleshooting solution for you. Today in this tutorial I am going to show you how to fix virtual disk service error. The operation is not supported by the object. Sometimes it becomes very important for you so don't forget to watch the whole video. Sometimes when you want to create a new partition or new volume, you may fall into this type of problem that is virtual disk service error. The operation is not supported by the, the object. Now I'm going to show you the problem. Right click on start menu. Click on disk management. Look. I have a second disk. I want to make partition on this disk and right click on the disk and click on new simple volume. Click next and I can make One five that means fifteen GB. Okay, E drive, no problem. Next, NTFS, next, and now click on finish. Look, the error message the operation is not supported by the object. Okay, I have to solve this issue. Now uh, go for the first way. The first way is click on search, type service, open services, right click on services and click on run as administrator. Scroll down. This is virtual disk service and double click on virtual disk service or right click and click on properties. Look, this is manual and the service is stopped. Okay, now status in a status type, select automatic and start the service click on start and now the service is running and status is automatic click on apply and then ok close services window then you have to restart your computer click on start menu Click on power button and then click on restart. After restarting your computer, hope your problem has been solved. If your problem is still purchased, you have to go for second solution. The second way is to using this part. Now, click on search bar type cmd right click on command prompt and click on run as administrator command prompt has been opened type this part hit enter Okay, this part utility has been opened. Now type list disk to show how many disks I am using in my computer.
Look, I have two disks, this zero and this one. And my problem is with this one. Look, again, this part, this management. My problem with the this one, this disk. Okay. Close this window. Now, select disk one. Hit enter. Now, this one is now the selected disk. Okay. Now, type clean all. Now hit enter. Okay. Now the disk is cleaning up. Okay. This part succeeded in cleaning the disk. Okay. This has been cleaned. Now you can uh, create partition from this disk part utility or you can create partition graphically. I am showing you how to create partition in graphically. So I don't need to uh, use command prompt right now. Just type exit. Exit from this part and it can enter into command part and now close the command part uh, command prompt utility. Again, now right click on start menu, click on disk management. Okay, uh, if you want to create your disk MBR, select MBR, or if you want to use GPT partition table, you can select GPT as you wish. Okay, now click OK. Now I am going to create partition again. Right click on the disk and click on new simple volume and click next and I am going to make a partition of 15 GB nearly. Okay, click next. And the drive letter is E by default. You can change drive letter from here. I don't need to change. Okay, now click next. And the file system is NTFS. You can change here from FAT32 or NTFS as you wish. Okay, you can uh, change name of the volume there also. Okay, I am not doing any change, just next. And now click on finish. Look, my disk has been created successfully and there is no error found. Now open File Explorer. Click on this PC. Look, the partition has been created successfully. Okay, close this window. Close this part. This is all for today. Hope this tutorial is helpful for you. Keep watching for next tutorial. Thank you very much.